So what is the state of the real estate market? Is it a buyer's market? Are home prices falling? Is it still a seller's market? What is the impact of the quarter point increase in the Federal Reserve rate announcement? What, what is that gonna do to mortgage interest rates? When might mortgage interest rates come down? Lots and lots of questions about the market and I would have to say that real estate is hyper-local and it's also segmented by your price point and your type of property. In the US, there are 100 million sellable homes. And out of that 100 million homes, about 10% sell on a typical year. So one in 10. This year, that number is predicted to be about 4.4 million transactions, 4.4 million homes sold, which is a decrease of about 60%, almost 60% fewer transactions than in a typical year. We have the lowest inventory of new listings, new listings coming to market in years. So there's not new listings coming to the market. The, the listings that are on the market have been looked through by buyers and are still there. Well, owners are reluctant to bring their houses to the market. In many cases, they have a very low interest rate mortgage and they do not want to exchange that low interest rate mortgage for a higher priced mortgage on a new property. So owners are reluctant to bring their properties to the market. Also because they may not be able to find, there's not a lot of inventory to choose from for them. If they want to downsize, if they want to upsize, there's not a lot to look at. Sellers are reluctant to lower prices because they don't have buyers in front of them to work with. Also, there's not a lot of competition. So they don't really see a need to reduce the price or to see a benefit from a price reduction. On the other hand, consumers have very few choices, very few new listings, nothing new and exciting coming to the market. And even if they did want to purchase something, it's unaffordable for many folks. Mortgage payments have gone up over 50% in the last year, over 50% in the last year, which is pricing people out of the market, even if they do want to participate. If you're a seller, your price entry point is super important, but it is still a very good time to sell because your competition is low and there are buyers who are looking. On a weekly basis, we come across listings that are having multiple buyer situations, multiple offer situations, because they're newly coming through the market, they're presented very well, and they also have a great price entry point. Another thing that a seller could consider is a incentive with a interest rate buy-down offer as a part of your marketing platform. If you're a consumer, look for properties that have been on the market for a little bit, see about negotiating on those, if you see something new coming to the market, you have to move quickly. You have to be prepared. You have to have your finances in order, a financial letter stating your, your cash position or a pre-approval letter from a lender. You need to move quickly to see the home and, and make the offer on the home. You may also have the opportunity to request a seller contribution toward your interest rate. So you could get a seller contribution toward your interest rate buy down, which would make the, the mortgage more affordable for you. What is the state of the market? There are fewer transactions. There are fewer properties coming to the market, fewer new listings, and home prices are not dropping. That's the state of the market. You know, real estate is hyper local and we feel like with careful guidance and trusted advice, Buyers and sellers can be safe and confident in this market buying and selling real estate. Thank you.